supplies I have a Costco haul so I'll start with the main or the big items the rest we were able to kind of we have three of these just kind of huge reusable bags so we were able to put most of our stuff in there so it's easier to carry into the house um, but I'll get the big items that didn't fit in bags out of the way first so first we got some hamburger buns these ones are for Chad and then we got wraps and I've been wanting to have the tortilla wrap for a while now but I was like, no, I'm not going to buy them from thrifties or from wherever I am because I was like, I know we're going to go to Costco soon and then I'm going to get the 24 pack. So why would I get like an eight pack or something? And these ones actually are packed, they say two 12 packs. Um, and then, yeah, because other times it wasn't like that. So it was just once you opened it, it was all open, all 24 tortillas. So I'm going to put this out of the reach of Chloe because last time while I was filming and didn't even realize, she nibbled a hole through the bag and ate some of the tortillas. Uh, let's see, get over there. Um, and then we just got some pasta. There's three different kinds, rotini, bow tie, and I don't know what that last kind is. Um, but, you know, now we're getting into summer. Chad, I know, likes making uh, like pasta salads and stuff, so that's how we have this. Chloe! Ew. Damn it, I cannot leave these bags unattended for even like a minute. Um, she was in the kitchen before while I was just getting all like my lighting and my camera together and then I started filming so I'm like, why are you still, why are you, what's your obsession in that bag? Yeah, so she opened this and got one of those disgusting steaks out and Chad is away. So I'm just going to put this on the counter and then sanitize my hands. So I will be back. Oh yeah, so getting back on track, now I think everything is kind of twisted, but... Grrr. So then I have my package of the hamburger buns, and this was in the same bag as that meat. Um, so I think this is an okay one. There's another one too that I have put in the sink, um, just in case it has some meat remnants on it, and I will wash it later, get Chad to wash it. Get out of the bag! Then we got a bag of onions and it was perfect timing. I just used the last onion for dinner yesterday that um, we had. And then we got a big pack of curry cake cups um, for Chad breakfast blend. Oh, light roast coffee. You like dark roast. Hopefully he won't notice. Um, and then chicken strips for Chad. Um, and then we got this LED solar light, I think. Yes, LED solar light, motion light, there we go. We have a kind of motion detector light that comes on, it's always on so it comes on at night. Um, and like, we have an L-shaped backyard, so when the dogs are back there, it will come on. But we don't really have anything for the other corners. Um, we have like a porch light, but it's not like a spotlight. So, um, I'm happy to put, or that we are gonna put this in. Now, Chad did mention that, you know, we're gonna do more lighting and Eventually, I don't know if it's going to be this summer project or a next summer project, but we want to um, rebuild our deck. Um, but it's just going to be like Chad and I doing it together. So it's, we have to have a bulk or a large amount of time where we can do that. So it probably won't be a this summer project because we have some other things we want to do, like our driveway. So for the meantime, we're going to put this up kind of on, facing the other side of where the L is so we can see the dogs at night when they're running around. All right, so in that meaty bag, which I can see the little beef blood on it, um, we have some of these cheddar sausages, smoked cheddar sausages for Chad, and then a pack of my tofu. Thank goodness it is very tightly packed, so there's no meat contaminants that are going to enter this. Um, but I think I will go wash my hands after I get this one more item out of it. Uh, we have a thing of feta cheese. God, Chloe, stop it. Um, feta cheese, we have another big one of Parmesan too. Now I'm just like paranoid that everything, oh wait, I'm gonna wash my hands. All right, so going into our second bag, we have the vegetable goyoza dumplings. Um, we got this last time we went and they were very good. Um, I actually had saved the package because if I was going to do like a marked April food favorites, I was going to include it, but then I ended up not doing a March April food favorites and then I was like, oh, we have a, so much other stuff that I wanted to include like piling up. So this was a big box, so I just recycled it. But now I'll probably keep this box so when I do my June food favorites, then I'll probably, you'll probably see that again. Then I just got some lettuce. Um, it wasn't like that great of a deal, but it's, it was still cheaper than, actually it was I think the same price as normal grocery stores, but this is, bigger. Now I was going to get, they have romaine hearts, but I was 
thought it would like be in a three pack but it was in a six pack and usually if it's a three pack I can just get through it before it gets starts getting a bit um wilting but a, double that I really don't think I can get through that like in a week or two so that's why I got that one. Now we got two lemon juices. <laughs> I made um actually I made a lot of different um little petit fours for Mother's Day but one of them was a lemon cake and then it also had a lemon curd in it so I used I think I used about a cup and a half of lemon juice so I'm running low and I was like well might as well this as long as you don't open it they'll keep for a very long time so one can go in the pantry um, and then the other one will be open and go in the fridge and then we also got spring rolls as we often get um and then usually I get the Kirkland um veggie burgers but I noticed that they had the Ives ones and I do like these because they're almost they're more meaty whereas the Kirkland ones which are also good but I just had those now for the past two years um so those ones are more you can tell it has like grains and other parts in it here it does as well it's just all combined so you don't really notice it um so it does look nice and like this juicy burger and then I got some portobello mushrooms um I will also have this in a burger I have marinated these in like balsamic vinegar and put them on the grill and it is delicious so I'll probably be doing that um, as well and I'll see what other things I can use it for maybe I'll do a mushroom um, risotto as well then here's that Parmesan cheese and then as usual these are kind of our things that we usually get um, the Mediterranean cheese and spinach or no chickpea and spinach patties and then a big thing of veggie ground beef we had tacos last night so um yeah this past couple of weeks i've been just buying them like one or two at a time just the veggie ground beef packages um just because i wanted to have it um and then our last food item is this big block of marble cheese since I go through a lot of cheese and well then I spoke to Chad because he's like oh let's get that I'm like you know we buy cheese every week like we don't need to eat more cheese he's like oh well, I haven't been eating as much cheese as I wanted because I thought you know we're I, I want to make sure there's always enough for you and I was like oh now that we're going to be having burgers and things more often then yeah we'll start using the cheese um or more cheese and then the last two items I got are I got some more of the um yoga pants these are capris so they're good for running because i don't really like running in shorts um even when the summer or like the weather gets hotter um yeah um and then also good for dance and so i got two one with a purple band um and then actually it looks a bit blue and then one with the actual blue band and these are a little bit different than the ones i had got last time last time the ones they actually had a drawstring at the waist um not that i used it but actually i think these will be better but uh, because it won't add that little like string of bulk but i actually honestly i like the feel of the the kirkland ones a little bit better than i like the my lululemon capris and lululemon ones they're like what 99 bucks almost or maybe not but like $70 and then these were I think they were $16.99 so hopefully I will like these ones just as much um but no I'm I'm happy and about these um and hopefully I will yeah like them so that is what we got and Chloe's still like sniffing with her nose in the air looking at those steaks and now I have to tell Chad that Chloe ate some of his steak all the other dogs they're like on the couch sleeping and the other one's outside but no Chloe has to be anyways that's it for my Costco haul I'll see you guys next time bye